Record. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Holy shit. Okay, so we're being recorded again. You guys okay. can't see what I just said. Holy shit about. But um, are you I'm controlling record- my so- Are you controlling my sound again? Since you changed the uh, venue again? Uh, no. Well, no. I still have the same panel, so you're still minus five dB. Uh, the audio that I've already set. So All right. um, just but, a question. Uh, I can actually see. A separate. I can see the individual. I have a new window. I can see individual tracks recording. So I can see freeze. I can free freeze this track, your track, Danny, and then my track. Then there's another track <coughs> for clips or like um, sound effects or something or like I think I'm able to even roll in like I don't know, like you know you know like radio programs will have like. I don't know, you sound can, effects. You can bleep out the F- F-bombs and shit like that. Yeah, or, or I can put in like, you know, like, I don't know, like wah, 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 that yeah, kind of bullshit. Like, yeah. like, you know, we're not doing all that. Yeah. But um, I mean, I'm just glad to get three dudes, three three drunk fucking dudes fucking recording at this point. Yeah, yeah um, really. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, it's been, uh, it's been tough uh, the past uh, month or so with the, uh, with the, uh, recording shit for the podcast you have you haven't had your emotional your emotional support podcasts you've been kind of yeah. you're kind of you a little frustrated don't i can't yeah. i can't vent to the world oh hey i've been to the world every day yeah I can. Well, yeah <laughs> but you know job. but that's on my porn hub site so <laughs> no 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 so check this out i didn't realize this so um there was this. There was this girl. She's a. She's a kind of Disney former Disney actress. Like you know, like these little kids. They start on Disney as like cute little kids, mm-hmm. and then you know they don't know how to adjust. They don't know how to behave. They're too old to be on Disney, so they go out into the world to be so, to be actresses, and they're half naked and they're coked out of their brains, and they don't know how to function. So, uh, so we call that the Miley Cyrus effect. Exactly. That is so. I'm not going to name this woman because I don't want a woman coming after me. So anyway, she she apparently, um, I, I guess people are interested. I don't. I don't. I just saw this on TMZ it's about a month or so ago, but she, or maybe two months ago. I guess people are interested in seeing her naked. Like I guess this is she's a grown. She's in her twenties, like well in her twenties. <clears throat> I mean, she looks like she's probably on her way to. She's only got one foot in the rehab. So anyway, what uh-huh. she did, she apparently she took a bunch of nude photographs, and she was going to, if you pay her money, she um, will let you see the nude, the nudes, you know, show show the goods, okay. and like I mean, she raised millions of dollars. Really, and it turns out that there wasn't like the nudes in there weren't really that nude. Well, the phrase they had used in the story was called "only fans," and I didn't realize because I'm reading the story, and then there's like a backlash, and people are saying that there's not pictures in there, and I guess there's an actual website called OnlyNudes.com.net. It's only called Only Nudes, and these people create accounts or no i'm sorry only friends only only fans only fans it's a website called only fans and these people will create accounts on only fans and then people can you know go in and and get an account and like select which people they want to you know give money to to see their only fans content well, this okay. girl, this Disney girl, she she brought in all this money, all these new customers. She didn't give them supposedly what she was saying she was going to give them. So it wrecked all the payment and all of the like the the only only fans website was forced to change how it handles money and how it handles like girls aren't getting paid as quickly because now they're holding the money longer to make sure there's not a bunch of chargebacks because you're lying. It was a really interesting story. Huh. This crazy cokehead Disney girl about <clears throat> broke this porn website that I never heard of. Well, Only let me let, let me ask you this. So, how profitable is that for the person posting their uh, nude pictures? Because. I mean, if I set up my own OnlyFans account and you go in there and pay me money because you need to see a, 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 a cracky image of my gargantuan junk, but you're just, you're just going to copy the image and then 
throw it on Pornhub later, and then everyone sees it for free. And then Freeze isn't getting paid. Um, I think, well, I, 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 I wouldn't know, but I would assume <laughs> what would happen is... I would imagine what I, I hadn't thought about this. So you're making me think about it. I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine only fans. The website is very much like Patreon, where it's a give and take or interaction. You know, you're getting content behind a paywall, and you're always generating new content. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, hey, hey, today's Wednesday, and let's. Get naked for Joe Biden because America and like, you know, and like you, I don't know, like, oh my God, today I had a terrible day. I had a terrible day at Starbucks. I didn't get my latte that I wanted. Let me show you my tits and give me money to make me feel better. I mean, like I imagine it's so, so a daily thing. So basically Tuesday's pictures are gone. You need to post for, uh, for Wednesday. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if they disappear. I don't know. That's a good question. I I, I swear, like I had seen the phrase and read because I read technical stuff and news stories, and I had seen the phrase "only fans," and even like a hashtag, and I was like, I didn't understand that that was an actual standalone business somewhere, where huh. like you had an account. I thought it was like a term of art, like I don't know, like I don't know, just some. I don't know, yeah. like Pamela Anderson. I'm just, I'm, you know, you want to see my nude pictures for only my fans, and you well, go to PamelaAnderson.com <clears throat> and like see your nude pictures. But apparently, you would go to OnlyFans.com. Which... Well, and you know, the main reason I've never heard of this site is because for years, you know, my uh, standing policy: I don't yeah. give whores money. Don't give whores money. It's like feeding the bears. <laughs> It don't is. give whores money. Don't give whores money. So, you know, in, in, in this day and age, who the hell pays for porn? You know, well, it even makes a good point because, like, you know, like, think about this just from, like, a business standpoint. Okay, why would a girl go to a, a – why would a girl hire a business, which is effectively what they're doing? Why would a girl hire this business to be between her – and her customers and her fans that she's only getting a percentage or they're taking a piece when she couldn't just, I don't know, start her own website or something. She's, she's too dumb to do it. This is the quick and easy way. Yeah. Let someone else do the hard work. All I got to do is take pictures of my JJ and my big old boobies and people will give me money. Well, like you would think like, okay, like the free website would be Instagram. You know what I mean? Like you put whatever would be acceptable on Instagram. And then you'd have a link to like PamelaAnderson.com, go to the members only section or the only fan section. And then if you want to give money to see whatever, but it's interesting, you know, like it's, you know, these, these girls are intentionally putting somebody between them and their customers. And that's actually not a good, we're, we're all trying to stop that from happening. You know what I mean? Well, like Facebook is between us and people. YouTube is between us and people and all the censorship. And we're trying to get away from that. And these girls are running headlong into it. Well, yeah, but but also look at it this way. We're, we're talking about one Disney girl who I guess is famous or quasi-famous. I don't know. But what you have to look at is the thousands of, of you know, We'll assume of legal age, teenage and early twenty girls who are who have no problem Instagramming pictures of their tits. Now they're doing it for money, and it's quick and easy money for them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got out of the shower. Snap, upload. Oh, I just got off the toilet. Snap, upload. Here's a picture of what I left in the toilet. Snap, upload, because there's people that are into that. <laughs> That's appealing. <laughs> Onlytoilets.com. <laughs> you know, I mean, hell, there's someone out there that wants to see it. <laughs> I, you know, I, I read something today. I laughed so hard I almost burst my stitches open. They were talking about how the um, debate people have the ability to mute the mics. 
So this guy said, wouldn't it be fantastic if Trump brought a cell phone and every time they muted him, he started tweeting things. He'd get more people on the tweets than Biden would get watching them. Well, there was a, there was a video many years ago by a band called uh, INXS. So NXS. NXS, and they, right. yeah. And they had this video and the dude, I think it was NXS, he didn't talk. He stood there with cue cards. And they had written out like, you know, all these things they were saying and like the music was playing and they just kept dropping the cue cards. And it was a pretty neat video. It would be funny if Trump just pulls out, you know, these cue cards and just is like, you know, uh, you know, where, you know, what about Burisma or ask him about, ask him about, uh, ask him about Antifa. Or, you know, whatever. Like, he could, you know, but they would probably just yank the camera off of him. Well, that, well. well, that's the question. That's my question. If Trump is making very good points and bringing a very good subject, are they going to key his or cut his mic? If he runs yeah. out of time, yes, they will. But you know what, though? I'll tell you, I'll tell you there's going to be people sitting there watching this debate with stopwatches. Oh, and oh, and, and, oh, and, and, point. and if they oh. mute his ass at 1 minute 58 seconds... People will go freaking nuts. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You know. It's going to be really interesting. Well, Marky, how are Freezes and I's voices now? They all sound really good. This should be this should be um, publishable. Now, let me... I'm trying to look at the panel here. I got to figure out how to save all this shit and not lose it. So, let me try... Can I stop it and not lose it, first of all? Let me try... Well... Let me try, let me hit stop record on this. If it goes away, then I'll be fine. All right, I'm we are recording again. Okay. And I don't know. If this is a good question because it's now showing it like eleven fifty three seconds, and I paused it. So is it still? Do I keep the track previously? Let me get rid of. Let me get rid of the clips track. And we're still recording. Uh, Danny, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, freeze you there. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I might let's see if a bump freeze up a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh, I can you know, bump I can bump freeze up. Hold on, hey, freeze you there? Yeah, I'm here. I just bumped you up two decibels. Okay. Why can I bump you up, but not Danny? That's interesting. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's because of your microphone. Well, it could be that, or it could just be because I'm a better human being all around could be that's interesting i was able to drop danny and but i, I can raise for and raise and drop freeze well freeze you had me at the rub of your titty nipples so i mean <laughs> i've just been i've been pretty stoic since hey, then have you guys seen that have you guys seen the um the hashtag instead of me too now it's me too bin oh no, no i have no, not no, that, no i have not that is hilarious <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's. I thought that was. I thought that was awesome. Well, I saw a uh, a cartoon the other day. It was a little kid standing there in his underwear with a booze bottle in his hand, and the parent was, <laughs> the parent was standing there, you know, giving the kid a stern look, and the caption was, "No, you cannot go out as Hunter Biden this year." Oh yeah, <laughs> kid, kids naked with a little glass <laughs> pipe come out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Well, is everyone going to be able to watch the debate tomorrow? Um, yeah, I should be able to. I'm going to. I, I don't know if I am or not. <clears throat> I may be at the range tomorrow, and um, I just at eight to at, eight at night, Marky. At eight at night, you're going to be at the range. <clears throat> that's shoot, travel we, time. We sh we shoot in the dark. Yeah. Oh, you do? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. There's low light, no light, especially with suppressors. Yeah. Actually, you guys don't know this. Uh, Freeze doesn't even know this. So we're working on a um, on a uh, uh, night vision solution to start hunting coyotes out there, <clears throat> or a thermal a thermal scope, some kind of I don't know what Doc's working on it, but it's I you know whatever. He's um. My question is, did uh, did you ever hang the uh, the cameras out there? No, not yet. I've actually uh, got those here. Um, what do you? I, I would have. What do you have? Deer cameras. Yeah, kind of. Um, oh yeah, we uh, bought a I, giant meshed network of uh, cameras. Uh, is about two grand, and uh, we got to put it all around the all around the, the range. Um, I, go ahead, please. It's, it's cellular. Yeah, it's cellular. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's yeah. 
It's it's like uh, having like uh, okay. It's very similar to like um, like uh, IP cameras at your house, where you know you can look at the uh, uh, you can look at the the like a ring doorbell, for example. You can look oh, okay. at the shit on your phone. It's right. it's kind of like that. It's but uh, I was uh, uh, I'm interested to see if we can uh, capture uh, the bobcat. I don't know of any bobcats out there. Do you have coyote out there? We do have a coyote, and there's a there's a rumor well, of, a, no, of a mountain lion out there. No, there there's there's bobcat in the area. Oh, I know there's bobcat, but I've never seen one. Yeah, I know. I'm you know, but they're they they normally run at night. Yeah. You know, I so. imagine we'll we'll pick. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll eventually we'll see. A, we'll probably see that before we see the. Uh, the, the famous cougar mountain lion that everybody denies exists, but I've seen paw prints for it. Oh, and yeah, got, there is a, there is a bear out there as well somewhere too, because I've seen a paw you, print for a bear too. You guys will probably get a wild boar. No, uh, I don't. I, I don't. I don't believe there are any wild boar in that area. But they um, are migrating north. There's there were yeah. some seen. Um, one of the farmers was telling me there were some. They were. Get reports of some in parts of Indiana that wasn't that far away. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if they'll stay. I don't know if they'll, I don't, I don't know how that works. Like, I don't know if they'll, I mean, wild boar survive in the winter in Russia, right? Oh yeah. In Europe. So, I mean, like, well, like, I mean, look, there's, there's a lot of, there's hog farmers in that area and you know, they don't unhog farm in the winter, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, well, way way up here, people are losing their minds. They actually on the uh, the camera type ring was just or the type of camera Freeze was just talking about. They caught a bobcat. That's pretty far up north, wouldn't you think? Uh, yeah, you know, bobcat. Uh, no, bobcats. You bobcats up in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, bobcats are. Um, yeah, they're yeah, they're are, actually they're all native. over the. Yeah. They're native to North America, so they can be. Pretty much anywhere in North America. Yeah, they, it's a lot just of them got wiped out. Yeah, right? well, that that's the problem. Uh, the, the population was wiped out, and they're just starting to really make a good comeback. <laughs> yeah, well, you know these people that were that caught it on the camera. They're a really exclusive sub subdivision, which backs up against the county forest preserve, and they're wondering mm -hmm. why there's a bobcat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're and they have, wanted her. They want the bobcat eradicated. Uh, no, they'll, ne they'll never. As a matter of fact, you shoot that bobcat, you might end up in. Uh, you might, you might get. You, you might go to jail. Yeah, depending on uh, depending on where you're at in the statutes in the area. But um, uh, I know um, in our area, it's not legal to shoot a bobcat. And um, you know, and I and well, we both know. A uh, guy yeah. who owns property down there, and and he tells every hunter on his property, "Don't shoot my fucking bobcat." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, as a matter of fact, there was an article um, Officer Mike had sent it. Um, it was a year or so old, but farther farther west, southwest in Indiana, the bobcats had become so common that they were debating allowing a season to hunt them. They didn't allow it, but you could tell, like, it's getting to the point they're going to start managing and allowing them to hunt bobcats. I would imagine if and when they do get to that point, it'll be kind of like the way Kentucky does with the elk. You have to submit a lottery. You know, you pay, like, I think for the elk, it's like 25 bucks to enter the drawing. They draw so many tags for so many elk because in, Kentucky does have elk. Mm -hmm, yeah, and they do have... They do have an elk season, so you know now they don't issue that many tags, but uh, yeah, there are know, certain areas like I think yeah. West Virginia. I think I could. I don't if I misunderstood this. It's they might oh, have red stag now in West Virginia. They they might because the elk most of the elk in Kentucky is like in uh, southeastern Kentucky, like right around the. Uh, uh, you know, down towards like the Kentucky Tennessee border and yeah, and all that. So For Virginia, um, it all comes together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and I mean, like, there's Northern Kentucky doesn't have any elk in it. 
Yeah. Uh, but but that doesn't. But with that being said, wild game being wild game, that doesn't mean you know. In fifty years, you know, they'll come up. They'll eventually work their way up. They'll until they hit until they hit. I mean, fifty. The problem is fifty years. Like Florence could be. Florence is so built up now. They wouldn't. They would stop before Florence. So wherever the wherever the cities, you know what I mean? Like you know, you know, they'll you could probably I mean maybe by the raceway, you know what I yeah. mean? In fifty years, uh-huh. they could be by the raceway. Sure, they could be. Urban Actually, spot. it could be less than fifty years. Yeah, the the NAS, What's the name of that NASCAR raceway? What's it? Kentucky um, Speedway. Sparta. Sparta. Yeah, that one. So well, okay. well, you know, here here in the Chicagoland area, because of the strict. Uh, gun laws they have it's so crazy that on the outlying areas of chicago the county police and the county forest preserve police and the dnr have to call the deer herds because there's so many well that doesn't shock me they do that here too not to the point of uh i mean you know we have uh uh deer control here oh yeah Yeah. they keep it quiet but yeah yeah, um, but if they would if they would let the hunters go out about and maybe give more tags, they wouldn't have that problem. I don't think. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, by the way, Pritzker shut down the state again starting on Friday. Yay! Well, well you know, uh, I I just heard a blurb. I didn't get any details, but I heard Mayor, Mayor Beetlejuice is trying to uh, increase taxes in uh, in Chicago to uh, raise more money. Did she you is. guys hear? Did you guys hear that Fifty Cent came out against Joe Biden because he quote doesn't want to be Twenty Cent? <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. No, I, I actually, I actually <laughs> I did like hear that. that. Yes. That, wow. My God, that is so awesome. Yeah, well, you know, I, I believe in in the interview uh, he was saying that you know. He uh, he liked Biden until he started looking into his uh, tax plans. And then realized that, hey, uh, yeah, twenty one thirty nine. I'm going to be losing a lot of money. So Appa- apparently, and, apparently, Biden wants to start. He wants to uh, tax four hundred one ks, and he also and government wants, pensions, and he wants to tax uh, existing home prices every year. So on top of your property tax for the state, and the county, and the city. You would get a federal, basically, it'd be a federal property tax yeah. every year, and it's just like you and know, a guy, like, and a, and nobody's a guy like, reporting this. Well, no one in the mainstream media is reporting it. No, yeah. it might be anti-Biden that'll never be shown. Yeah, yeah, it's just like you know, it's just, but like you know, that would be a huge deal to people. Like, wait a minute, I got to pay federal fucking property tax now? What the fuck? Well. I think I got Frieza's stories beat and Marky, your stories beat with what came across the Chicago television today. Cook County, which Chicago is in, one of the Cook County board members wants to take all the profits from the marijuana dispensaries after all cost and give it back for reparations. Okay, are these privately run dispensaries? They are privately ran. They are so, licensed, but they so, are licensed by the state. But after their profit margin or whatever it's built in at, whatever, all the profits or tax dollars or whatever they're going to deem it as, she wants to go for reparations. So, reparations. Ba- so basically, what you're saying is, uh, I opened my own pot store, and after my initial cost is cut. Uh, I'm going to be basically living on welfare and food stamps because they're going to take every cent of profit to give it to these uh, reparated people. Wait oh, but which, by the way, there are no reparated people. They're all fucking dead. Hold on, but wait a minute. That's a question. So doesn't the state, because I don't drink alcohol, doesn't the state regulate what you can charge for alcohol in your state? Yeah, do they do the yeah. same for pot? That, that, I don't know about pot, but yes. Alcohol and tobacco are regulated on price here in Ohio. That's why they have those. That's why they <coughs> Illinois too. They have that's why they have those long skinny stickers down the side of the of the bottles or the packs of cigarettes. Mm, yeah, mm, interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to export 
this recording, it's still recording now, I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to see if it keeps it going from where it was to, um, like, I don't know, like I'm exporting from the beginning or am I exporting from where I last exported? But here's something Does else I can, I, can, I can already tell. This podcast, this software, and the way it runs, I'm going to have to be very careful. We do have the potential to just lose the fucking thing because it's web-based. You know what I mean? Like something crashes, it's just gone. You know what I mean? Like we've never had that right. happen before. Yeah. So let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and let me do it live. Let me see if I can do.